coalescent molecules held together by weak forces. I'm going to um, heat that up. I'm going to, in fact, heat sulfur up to the point at which it boils. Now, sulfur eventually boils, if I remember correctly, at 444 degrees centigrade. You get boiling sulfur on your skin, you're going to go, ouch, that's hot, so don't do it. Also, also, sulfur has this unfortunate tendency to catch fire. It catches fire and it burns with a little blue flame that you don't see. And so the last part of the experiment, you can get a little flame which you don't see um, and little bits of molten sulfur which you do see because it lands on your shirt and it, because it's pretty hot and burning, it makes little holes in your shirt. So there's a potential for a little bit of damage today. Fire extinguisher? So take it easy. Do we have a right, fire extinguisher first? Does right. someone want to get it? There we go. Sulfur stinks. If there's anyone who suffers from asthma back in the room, um, chemistry does stink, unfortunately. Um, and if, if it's catching your throat, don't hang around that. Now, I need a test tube holder. No, I don't want a test tube holder. I don't want one of those, don't want one of those stupid metal things. Can someone rip a big sh sheet of paper out of their notes for me, please? I need, need a sheet of paper. Piece of paper, paper. Quickly, 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 because this is the best. Oh, my voice is gone. <laughs> Sorry. This is the best. Come on. Hurry up. Come on. Kelsey, for goodness sake, Lassie. Hurry up. Right, here we go. This makes a much better test tube holder. <laughs> it's not sugar, it's sulfur. Here we go. Right. Bit of paper, wrap it round and round and round and round. Paper is a heat insulator. The little molecules don't carry the heat away. Very well. There we go. That's, a, that's the safest test tube holder you'll get. Right? So here we go. I am going to gently warn this. So what if, what if it catches fire? Won't catch fire just yet. Because all I'm doing, all I'm doing is supplying enough heat energy just to overcome the forces between the sulfur molecules. And I'm going to turn sulfur as a solid into sulfur as a liquid. And yeah. Always point the test tube at somebody else. <laughs> That's how we do it. There we go. Now a little bit of gentle heat. Now if you if you rip into this experiment, full boost on the Bunsen burner, shove a huge amount of heat energy up the bottom of the test tube. Don't panic. I know what I'm doing. If you shove a huge amount of heat energy up the yeah. bottom of the test tube, you will not get a nice runny liquid. So, what will you get? An well, I'll show you in a minute. It's like pointing straight at my that, face. Don't panic. Well, maybe we should all be wearing safety glasses at this point. Tell you what, maybe not. switch the cameras off.